What is happening beautiful gamers, Blank here and welcome back to the sequel to probably one of the greatest metroidvanias of all times, Blasphemous 2. And today, today we're gonna be doing a little bit of a couple of things here and there. We gotta go all the way back and we gotta explore this section one more time, take a look at what was going on in there. Then after that we do have to explore this section in the middle over here and then explore a little bit of this. We should be going all the way to the right because it seems like this is the path to progress, but we will figure that out after. Let's just explore the top first and then we'll do the rest. To be fair, those are the type of things that they normally happen whenever you are not paying enough attention. <laughs> oh boy, that was a little bit tight and I gotta be honest. I gotta be honest, that's... That does make things a little bit more complicated. Talking about that, I wanna say right now to all of you guys that I wanna, I wanna say really thank you for all the love and support that you guys show. Thank you very much for all the love and support that you guys have shown on this series. It's, it's, it's been pretty incredible, honestly speaking. I really appreciate it. And hey, I would appreciate if you guys keep loving the support, as always. You guys always do, so I'm not even worried about that. I know it's just gonna happen. Anyways, let's just keep going. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be something disappearing that we gotta go for. Oh, another Mea Koopa. Let's go. Yeah, talking about that, I did have the opportunity to speak with some friends that they're actually playing the game too. And they did tell me that my weapon, the one that I picked up, it doesn't have a parry. That's exactly why I don't have a parry. It's just a weapon. I don't have to worry about it. If I really want to like the parry or something, I need different weapons. It's just, it's just that the one that I have doesn't really carry it. So yeah, nothing for us to worry about. We'll eventually find something else and we'll go for it. So we cannot climb the top for some reason. And is there any way for us to go through the bottom? How did we miss this before? Hello? The, an the anointed one. How do you even miss that? Maybe a secret over here? No secrets. And then over there for the top, I'm guessing that we're just missing like a double jump. Or maybe it's something like that. Because we have explored almost all of this and we're missing stuff in here and yeah, okay, fine. Yeah, we cannot really access that, so it's definitely one of those situations where you cannot really make the jump, like, see, like, we really cannot reach it, so... That's fine. You guys notice how dark the background of this section is? Like, everybody seems to be, like, sand giants just screaming in pain, in suffering, in everything. Pretty dark. Um, we wanna go down, but not over there. We wanna go below. And then below again. And then from here, yeah. We're just we're just gonna be going back. I think this one doesn't take me there. It does take me there. Beautiful. All we need to do is just climb down and Oh no, stay away from me. Ah uh, yeah, I don't have time to deal with you. I have already done it before. Yeah, that's that was whoa, yo! I need you to sit down and take it easy some, please. Ah, goodbye. Cool, nice. And it seems like the more distance that you have between enemies and yourself, you do a little bit more damage. I wouldn't be able to, like, guarantee that, but it seems like. Uh, we could go back if we want to, but yeah, from here, all we need to do is go all the way to the bottom. And that should give us the answer that we're looking for. I don't I don't really remember quite well. Oh my goodness. If we're actually going to be able to, to get it, but hey, who knows. Double top right there. Another hit over here. Oh, yes. 
we're probably not gonna be able to access that section because we have to be able to go through the middle and that is not something that we can really do just yet if i'm not mistaken wait no we can excuse me oh and we're missing a power to go through the bottom okay 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 so this is gonna be another one of those little weird stuff where we just put an incognito and then yeah all we need to do now is just progress okay sure that's that was weird sure it's still blasting it's, it's just a, oh hello give me that so we just got a mask of marathon right there talking about those we can now um equip this so we can do the power in the air and now you have increased fire damage inflicted Everything else we cannot trigger it because we need a level 2. Talking about that, there's something that I noticed while I was doing the editing a couple of days ago. You can actually check your collection. So if you really got something, there you go. So increasing our fire damage is possible. And then also we have this one. So we have gotten two. This one is going to be good because it increases the strength of Veredicto. And Veredicto is the polearm that we are carrying right now. So yeah. Oh, yeah. And before I forget, just the lore. In case there you guys want to read it. Now some of you guys are the, the, the lore masters over there and you guys love to get those readings going. Oh boy. Beautiful. And then from the other side, we definitely are missing that. Something that we cannot access just yet. We should be able to. Let's just have a quick look just in case, but I don't think we can really access it. I really believe that we are missing some sort of like power or something. But we'll figure that out. Now, I've been trying to think about how long each... Yeah, we're missing the double jump in here. Nope! Because... Yeah, you cannot really, like... I thought you were going to be able to do an air dash, but you cannot. And without doing that, you cannot really access the next section, and I thought I was going to die. Anyways. From here, yeah, we just go through the middle, and it should be okay. Kill this guy. Look at this range. I gotta say, I do not know how the other weapons play, but this one plays really well. It's a little bit less... Um, I guess interact interactive, I would say. The reason why I'm using that specific word is because it feels like this one doesn't really block or anything alike, and since it doesn't block, then it is more like unga unga damage. Like just hit and, hit and dodge. But I guess that's perfectly fine too. So another reason why I'm going up is I want to see if there is any place for us to use those those bells. And yes, there is one place to use the bell. Yep, just jump to the bottom one more time. And now time to get moving. I messed up. I messed up. That that's not going to work. That's not going to make it. But that's okay, we can run, 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 run. Yeah, now it should have disappeared, so now we can go down. It's it's pretty fast, it's just that I messed up. So... Okay, go fast, come on! And then it disappeared again. Oh, yeah! We're so close. What happens if we go through that? We're just gonna go to the other side. But I am not sure. I, I think that stays there permanently, so we'll see. Okay, that's beautiful. Beautiful again. Let's go. And from here, we can trigger this little shortcut. And that also triggers the upper hand. Taking us somewhere. Oh, oh, come on. Just like I said, the, our main goal in this game right now is really to try to explore these little areas as much as possible. We, we, we don't really have the knowledge that we used to have, so... Are you kidding me? Did I almost die? Yeah. So you do have to pay attention. Okay, okay, okay. 
That's gonna be a challenge. I also saw a mirror in there. And I believe that the only problem with the mirrors is that those mirrors, we cannot use them, so I'm worried about it. Oh, yes! And we get a cloth of the old woman. What are you supposed to do? Cloth belonging to the spring old woman who lives in the hamlet of the Golden Knots. The cloth is mysterious pristine with a single thread out of place, despite its great age. And then the rest of the things are just things that we cannot trigger just yet. We know that this is another one of those places with chest. So we are going to be putting another chest over here. And then with that done, all we need to do now is just go all the way back. Let's go. We just got to go back. The game didn't make it easy for me to be able to do stuff. Uh, hit damage is also shouldn't be a thing in this game. Like fall damage. Or brutally fall damage, better said. These guys are way easier than they used to, I gotta be honest. Oh, there you go. Die. And we get an ornate chalice. Is that another one? Yeah, a cup embellished with the small stones using rituals. At its bottom, dark bloodstains can be discerned. So, probably like some sacrifices that needs to be made. Sure. There you go. And now we actually have everything under control, so we can just keep progressing through the bottom. Stay away from me, you weirdo. That guy just shows up. And, uh. And here is where we actually had that beautiful fight. Three attempts, guys. Three attempts. That's not so bad. That is not so bad. Uh, weird. Oh, that's you. That that's you. You who were making that noise. Grateful, we are. Be grateful, we are. Grateful, I am. Bye. Wait, what? <laughs> who the fuck are you? Sure. I was making a weird noise and I was like, huh, this looks suspicious. Ooh, pretty. Aqueduct of the Coast Alex. Gotta destroy this thing. Probably it's gonna come soon. That power is coming soon. Um, I need my space. Get away from me. Yeah, you guys are not that difficult, so stay. You, got, you, you keep your good distance against me, and I'll, I won't keep mine against you. I think I have seen this area before. Let's verify that in a second. Oh yeah, we are connecting to this place right here. I don't remember anything. <laughs> don't really remember what was going on in there. Huh. Do you guys think that from the top we can actually trigger that? Because it seems like yes, yes you can. Okay, and then from here, what exactly do you want me to do? We can trigger another one of these bells, which we were not able to in the past. And it just triggers a shortcut. And there is no secrets in there. So with that shortcut trigger, we just we just we can now access this area. Again, this is not a nice shortcut though. I, I sure, whatever. <laughs> sure game, whatever you want me to do. Whatever you want to happen will happen. And then from here we just gotta go to the right and explore this section. We know that we're missing that little power over there, that's fine. Enemies should show up and probably one more death and wait. Are you telling me that I cannot really access this so I really need to go from the top and then go around? Oh no, we can actually... Psh, God damn it. Oh, I'm dead, I'm dead. Oh, fuck. So if I really want to trigger that, I will need to do something like this. Wait for it to go all the way there. Wait, wait. 
And now we can actually trigger this and this should open the door to the top. Perfect. Send this all the way back. And now we have a system here that opens up that gate. That gate, however, is the one that had, I think, 2,000 tiers of a torment. So that's pretty cool. And now we can actually go all the way back. Wait, the doors are... The doors are on a freaking timer. Dang it. Okay, so this is the deal. I think I messed up. And then we have the shark. Beautiful. This triggers a lot of things for us to do, but we cannot really access this one. We can fall if we want to. Does this trigger that by any chance? It seems like it does. It seems like it does. Okay, so we're gonna have to go down one more time. Because now we're gonna have to trigger it and we have to run. One, two, three, four. Ah, fudge. Ah, fudge. I messed up. So from here, you are gonna have to make a run for it and then boop, boop. Yep, and then all of that for a baby? Are you kidding me? I mean, wh wh what am I talking about? Babies, those babies are the bosses. They're the, they're the big boss of the game. They're gonna be triggering a new section, and you, we know that we want that new section. Alright, and then we trigger that area. Yeah, there's nothing else for us to do except for going down. Uh, with that done, yeah, there is a section right there that we cannot explore, but now there is a section below that we cannot explore either. We're gonna have to go straight then. Yeah, because the section below is blocked off by that wooden thingy. So, fine. And then from here, yeah, you just gotta go straight, finish up, and then go back to... The other place, but you know what? At, at that point, at that point, even if you have triggered it, I am pretty sure that if I decide to, well, not pretty sure, but let's test something out. If I decide to equip this, oh, you can do quick versus. Wait, what? How do you? Oh. Oh wait, 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 wait. So you can equip. So that's what it meant. So you, I can equip one here. Which it seems like I cannot equip it. I have to always... So... This one... Cannot go. I cannot put anything on quick verses. So chants are man that got us. I think I can just disappear and I can travel back to the city. Beautiful. And now that we're back in this area, we can explore a little bit more. We need to speak with this guy to figure out. We can, I guess, deliver that thing to this person over here. Like the, the, the nun. Hello, you're getting better. The wood is taking shape. I sense how its veins nourish a body that seeks to be wounded with my chisels and hammers. That yearns for the cuts and indentations that will free it from its coarse origins. Okay, um, I want to increase the capacity. This is the first time that I will do this, for one. Yes, that's fine. The altarpiece on your back now has more capacity. Here, I will wait for you until you gather more marks of martyrdom to extend your altarpiece. The only reason why we do that is because now that we have all of that equipped, we can increase our physical damage, and not only that, we can increase our fire damage. So, everything that we have equipped now is just gonna do more damage. Pretty sure we're gonna need two now. Yep. So it does become more expensive as you go. That makes sense. We are May the hands of the Thank you. That guy, he's my friend. He's my best friend. Anything that increases my power, they're my best friends. 
This is to get rid of guild. We do not have any guild because we feel no guild. And then from here we should be able to speak with this lady. Yep, I figured. Find sisters. Will do, will do. I, how many do you want me to find though? Can I speak with you? No? Yeah, she's not having it. She really doesn't want to talk to me, which makes me a little bit upset, if I gotta be honest. Like, the fact that she doesn't really want to talk to me is upsetting. But then I'm guessing that now that we have triggered that, it's time for us to proceed over here. Wait, there is something here that we didn't do. Okay. Now it's time for us to just keep moving. Right, because from here we're gonna go to the... Fine. Now from here we can actually go down. We cannot trigger that door just yet because there is no... Maybe a secret door over here? No. We cannot trigger that door because there is really no... Bell that we can use right now. Probably one will be fine eventually or probably from the other side. There is more towns. Okay. What the fuck? Yo, listen, you see shit like this and you're like, what the fuck is wrong with the makers of this game? I love them, they're the best. Come closer and contemplate this delicate tumbaga. The embroidered shawls. The silk dresses. You are in Regina's shop. My goods are my home. My bed. They are as much a part of me as I am of them. You point, and this diligent arm will surely grant your request. So I can buy stuff now. Whoa, and they're expensive. Core cord. Okay, so this is what, like a prayer bead? This one, one of the seeds for those who deal in secrecy, the slippers one will arise for one in need of genuine protection. So it's a wax seed. I'm not sure what that does. This one increases mystical, increases lightning damage, increases martyrdom points earned. That's actually really, really good. And then we can actually take a look at this. We don't use block. Health sounds okay. Penalties for accumulation of guilt. I don't care. Fervor generated when attacking enemies. That sounds really, really good. Slightly increases the damage of prayers. None of those are really nice in comparison to what I want. So probably the rosary knot is going to be really important. So buy it first. Yes. And then the martyrdom point seems like an investment, but yeah, you know what? Seems like an investment, so let's invest in it. Mm -hmm. Here among my wares, I shall await your return. Yep. And now that we have that done, we cannot wait. I thought we got a rosary bead. Who do I have to give it? Oh, so I need to give it to somebody. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I need to find. To whom am I gonna give it so that way? Fine, sure. Okay. That's okay. Happy to see that now I can speak with you. And oh no, don't tell me this is a merchant. Oh, blessed are we, for I behold a penitent. Why is somebody carrying you while you're writing? How can you even read like that? Humbly allow us to present ourselves to your reverence. We are Medardo and Escolastico. Pilgrim merchants and scribes by trade. You never know where precious assets may be. What prey can be unjust or malevolent in walking the roads in pursuit of a twofold profit? That of the pocket by selling, and that of the spirit by prayer. While Medardo pays penance in his meditative meanderings, I take care of the business side of things, sparing not a drop of ink to write about the beautiful landscapes of the many varied paths we travel. But go ahead and cast your eyes upon our shop window. The objects that were lost on voyages have great appeal and fascination as they have become a reminder of the feat itself. Cast your eyes upon our shop window. Great. Oh, come on. Increases the chance of critical hits. This is not fair. He sells stuff. To be fair, the only thing that looks interesting is this one. The other one doesn't that much. Nothing of what a pity. 
so I don't feel sorry about the investments that I made in the previous section. Alright, let's go. And yeah, of course, we don't have the power to teleport. This is a power 100%, so whatever. We'll, we'll get there eventually. Tears of a Torment. 800. Doesn't sound so good, but at the same time, I'll take anything that is for free. It was pretty cheap, it was pretty fast to get, so... I'll say it's a win in my book. Now, from here, we cannot go up, we're gonna have to keep progressing. We could go back down, but we're not gonna do that yet. Grills and ruins. There you go. So we just gotta keep pushing this area. New enemies, that's good. Are you are you sure about what you're doing? Because I'm I'm just why are you guys not trying to get close to me? Yo, if you guys are just gonna sit in there, I'm gonna destroy you both. Okay, okay, listen. Cannot block you, but I can kill you. Just take that, that was pretty fast. Alright. What, what is that that... Talking about that, I wonder what is that that he has on his hands. Like, that thing stays and then it moves and it's really weird, but I don't get it. I want to explore that yet? Um, sure, not yet. Let's finish up the exploration of this area a little bit more. I saw there were some things that we took down and I'm guessing it was just to dodge them. But it wouldn't really matter, would it? Cannot really open that up, that's fine. Maybe there's gonna be like a statue, hello there? Why do I keep making that mistake? That's probably, do you guys think that that's gonna be one of the... Oh, that's cool. Do you guys think that that's gonna be one of the... Uh, flasks that we need to give to... To the other lady? That's pretty strong from him. But he's dead now. Kill him pretty fast. No! No, no way! I'm liking it that you can actually make the choice. Uh, th that's one of them. I wanna I wanna brutalize him. I don't really like the fact that. No, I don't wanna use that either. Shit. Stay away from me. I need to remove that from my power list. Let's remove it right now, because I'm gonna make a big mistake. I really just wanted to do this. And now he should just die with time. Yeah. And we got really... Okay, so 1,000 Tears of a Torment for a Gauntlet. That's not so bad. I'll take it. I mean, I wish it would have been better, but it's definitely not bad. No secrets. Then let's go. Oh, that's what was hanging in there. I was wondering. And how do you die? Mm, not a unique death to that guy. That's disappointing. No, no, no. I don't want you to go all the way to the middle. Wait, are you kidding me? Wait, no. No. Ah, fuck. It goes up on its own. Then we're gonna jump in here. Uh, and let's go. Wait, no. Watch. And then from here, what do we just go up? Yep, he's dead. I uh, don't really want to deal with any of them. Hmm. Yeah, that section right here is a little short good. Okay, we can kill this guy. 
really basic enemy don't even know what he's doing in here and this guy right here he's trying to like show off with like his little power and he, then he's like nah you don't you don't really you cannot really mod no the fall no oh, i wanted to die i wanted him to be defeated by the fall of the death and the sorrows and ah fuck Nothing here? Okay, beautiful. Oh, hello! And then from here, we cannot really use the power. I really need that power. Inner hands. We really gotta... We really gotta be able to do... A sound? Here? Yes! Grateful you are? I'm glad you are, because I am grateful too that we found something. It's pretty good. I was like, what is that sound? What is that noise? And what is this? Excuse me? Core of Thorns. Don't like this. So now we're in a whole new section, the Core of Thorns. I feel like I haven't explored this area. We know that this is blocked off. And we know that we need to go through this section. Right. And there is a merchant in here. But we cannot really buy anything just yet. So we should be doing a little bit of exploration if we want. But do we want to go from here? Uh, I have an idea. Seems like we did a little bit of things. We got a second sister. Maybe she'll talk to us now. Uh, we cannot really access that area and we probably cannot access these areas just yet. So let's see what is in here pretty fast. See if it is something that we can actually tackle. And if not, then that's all right. We can always just call it a day right now and then. That should be more than good. Okay, so from here, let's go back. Yep, there you go. And let's see what happens if we take the right to the bottom. Uh, change powers just in case. Uh, and I don't think we can actually do anything in here, but there is an item. Sea of Ink. Forgotten tribute, new item. And is that like a prayer? No, it's not. A coin that was used for many years as payment for the processions that travelers the road at night time. These processions gradually dried out, so died out. So I find finding a coin like this is a rare occurrence. And it seems like yeah, this is probably one of those missions where probably from here or from here we're gonna end up like going down, and then there's gonna be like a ship taking us back, just like in the serpent section in Blasphemous One. No, I, it's really hard for me not to compare them. It's, they do give you some similarities. And then from here, there's actually nothing. Uh, we cannot really... Can we speak with her? We have got the multiple items. Can we speak with her one more time? No, there's... I thought this was the place with the crazy lady. The one with the black and the kid and... That, that thing. Yeah, but no, that's not the case. Anyways, we now have to go and speak with the nun. We have given her two. And maybe she'll say now, Oh, you saved my sisters. That's 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 good. You, you're my friend now. We, we, we can do business. And then we can go from there. But you never know with these type of games. Maybe, maybe she'll require like all of them together before she speaks with you. At which point would be really strange. That would be a first for Blasmus. But who knows? Who knows? Yeah, there it is. What's up? Tribute. Yes. To honor. To honor. Uh, you want my money? I I wanted to use that money on the. You want whatever. You are now able to travel. Why? Why would I like this? 
Wait, to the city? Yeah, why would I like this? This is useless. Find. Oh, so you find their sisters, and after you find sisters, she gives you more powers. So then... Oh, so then the first level... She's like the... She's like the... The donation box, but instead of a donation box, she demands shit from you, and you have to help her. And then if you don't help her, she doesn't really help you, or she doesn't really sell you stuff. Yo, listen, I missed it when it was just donations. Because now these people, they demand from you, and then they want you to donate on top of it. It's, it's not really that fair, if you think of it. Not really that fair. But anyways, I think right now, based on the time, this is where we're actually going to be wrapping things up for the day. Now we are in Grills and Ruin, we are going to be exploring all of this section over here, if possible. If not, we'll go to the top and explore the section to the top. So that's going to be pretty cool. We know that right now there's nothing that we can do. So since there's nothing that we can do, it's just a matter of like progressing and that's pretty much it. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.